Brendan Bloomer, Block One CEO. Pleasure to have you with us, Brendan. Thank you me. so much for joining us. So you actually finished the world's biggest sale of cryptocurrency tokens for around $4 billion back in May. What are you planning to do with that money that you raised? Well, if you look at how uh, token networks were distributed in the past, it was mostly through burning electricity in order to create these tokens. And so the thesis behind our token sale was to take that capital that was normally used to create tokens and then divert it back to the developers that are spawning the next generation of innovation. So we just announced a billion dollar fund for ESVC. Um, we're investing that with partners throughout the world back into the hands of the developers so we can see what, what comes from that, that, that type of capital innovation. Sure, but in terms of how you're actually going to use the money you've raised so far, do you have a roadmap that you're sharing with investors? Yeah, so we've shared, like I said, the first billion yeah. dollars of capital into EOSVC. The primary bulk of it is really designed to use as investment into developers building on the EOSIO application itself. Yeah. The first commitment of a billion is, is what we've made public. However, we haven't limited our involvement to that you know, first capital. There's no need to overfund those pro programs in the early years. Yeah, and in terms of investors, I mean, Bloomberg has reported that you're winning funding from Peter Thiel, Jihan Wu. Can you confirm that? Yes, we can confirm that. Right. Um, we did a strategic round a little bit um, uh, a couple months ago, and uh, you know, these this technology is really a um, a platform that allows us to start to disrupt some of the large centralized uh, technology platforms today. Um, and these are leaders in that space. And our next plans will make it in terms of what we build on the application ourselves. It'll become a little more apparent why we chose the investors that we have. Okay. And when are you planning to release that information? Hopefully at the end of this year, or early next. Okay. Um, now that's obviously a positive thing. Great news. Thank Thank you for sharing with us. But the other thing that we've seen is reports of resignations of some of Block One's earlier executives to start their own blockchain project, which I believe is called Strong Block. Who has actually left the company? Well, there's always some churn in um, you know, uh, the employees. None of our core team has left. Okay. No, no. So this is interesting because, um, as you can tell, cryptocurrency is becoming more and more mature. And uh, it's an interesting scale. Why? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I don't know why I did this here. We'll just go to the three-month graph. But as you can see, um, uh, unfortunately, uh, crypto has been a little uh, passive. This is still not the right month graph. <laughs> there we go, guys. Um, but what this news clip I think is showing is that blockchain still needs room for growth. And the correction was necessary to basically bring the markets uh, to reality. And um, I do believe long term, once the regulations come in, the price of crypto will rebound. And uh, it's interesting to see these funds uh, start and even more projects will emerge. And I do believe because crypto space is becoming competitive that uh, it will foster innovation and a bunch of new creative technologies. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.